the last couple of weeks have been quite difficult and it was to the point where I was feeling like everything was very overwhelming I had too much to do and vlogging was just one extra thing but it's the first of March today I have woken up feeling much more motivated than myself and really pretty good so I'm gonna throw myself into vlogging do my best see how we go today we are going to my parents-in-law um, it's a usual Sunday go around to theirs for lunch so that's nice um, and then we've got a busy week yeah busy week lots to do some of it little things some of it big things I'm very relieved to be feeling much more myself hello Lucy hi have you come to join me do you want to say hi Oh, you've seen Freya. Pussycat. Pussycat. Is that your cat? Yeah. Is that Freya? Oh, Milo's yeah. outside as well. You can see Milo through the window. Is he going to come back? Yeah. Yeah, is he? Are you sure? <laughs> there it is. I'm in Birmingham for another School of Social Entrepreneurs Action Learning Set. Last times was really quite intense, so I'm a little bit nervous. I used the long cane to get to the train station, which was pretty successful. Um, then I tried to switch to the throttle buttons, which are now called something else, um, but yeah. So they, they go on the side of the chair and in theory you can control the chair or the smart drive with them um, but they're not set up to latch mode which means press it, hold it, set the speed and then you don't have to press it anymore. So at the moment they literally add a little bit of power while you're pressing the buttons and I can't move like that. Um, and I'm not sure why, I think it's because I reset the watch trying to get something else sorted on the E2 which I'm still struggling with so I'm back to the push tracker and my big win of today already is that I took a different route to the business district in Birmingham um, and the Bluetooth didn't cut out so I'm pleased with that that has been successful already uh, but I just need to figure out how to get these throttle buttons latched so that all I need to do is press and hold until I'm at the speed I want and then let go because I think there's one for each side of the chair and I think that will make it easier with the long cane. Although it wasn't too bad with the push tracker, it just it did cut out a couple of times because it read my sweeping motion as a double tap. Um, so yeah, in Birmingham, cold, really cold. Um, I'm very early, so I'm going to go in, I think, um, settle down, maybe have something to eat and get ready for the day. I am halfway home from the train station. Um, I was really apprehensive about today. Um, last time was very emotionally overwhelming and I was concerned that today might be the same. Um, but I've come back feeling revived, revigorated, excited um, and really positive, which is fantastic. Um, and it was nowhere near as emotionally intense as last time. Um, I've also been, today's been the first day of using the long cane properly, like not just testing it out on a short journey when I don't have a lease, um, either with me or attached to me. Um, whoops, I'm, my arm is shaking so I'm trying to manage everything. It's been interesting. Um, I was surprised at the number of people who just jumped out the way as soon as they saw me, which is really helpful. Um, I was a little unimpressed that the um, elastic got caught in my wheels, which is fine, and I figured out straight away what happened, um, stopped and was about to sort it when someone came up to me, started trying to tell me what had happened, but also took the long cane off me, um, started to try and explain how I should do it. Um, in terms of putting it around my wrist and that this bit needed to be shorter and that 
he then did a knot in it um, even though I was explaining and said several times I need to swap hands with it um, because steering a wheelchair and using anything you need both hands to be able to steer um, but not necessarily both at the same time or I'm going out of focus um, yeah so I've been switching hands with it but I obviously couldn't do that with it the, the elastic attached to my wrist but he was very adamant that this was what he was going to do and not listening to me and it still it doesn't surprise me but it just makes me feel very uneasy how complete strangers seem to think they have autonomy over you when you use a mobility aid um, however my faith was restored when I was looking around a bit unsure and someone walked past asked if I was okay listened to my answer that I was fine and said great or something like that without breaking his stride so he was making he wanted to check I was okay but didn't want to kind of stop and make me feel uncomfortable and he just he listened and that makes a really big difference I did notice how many people stopped when I was kind of stopped and looking around even just paused to look around offered help which was really nice and had I been lost would have been really helpful because I do struggle with directions and finding my way um, so that was yeah some positives some negatives certainly an experience um, I'm gonna head home Dan will have just beaten me but we are an hour earlier we finished early so I get to spend an extra hour with my Lissy people are weird so after I'd filmed yesterday I had two people um, the first person um, the smartwatch cut out because I had the long cane in my hand I need to work on knowing which sweeping mo motions um, are going to be read by the smart watch the push tracker that's it um, as a tap so it, it just cut out because it read my movement as a tap and that's something I just need to kind of work on um, but someone came up behind me and came next to me and said do you want to hold my hand and then when I said no thank you he just said oh you're doing well keep, keep going straight just weird and patronising um, and then at the crossing I have a particular crossing that is very difficult because people pull up what's that we got the bus yeah the bus are the people in the bus hair the hair me your hair you put the people in the bus yeah okay where are they going house they're going to their house so there's a particular point that is very difficult for me to cross just because there are cars coming from two different directions well three but the drop curb that i need to get up is often blocked because people pull up to the edge of the road um and then the road's blocked so they can't move but it means i can't cross the road because i can't get up the drop curb um, so when I got to the drop curb it was already blocked which is fine because they didn't know I was coming um, the guy behind motioned that he was going to stop and let me go when that car moved um, but then he opened the door and started to get out and came over and asked me if I needed help crossing the road and it was just no I just need that car to move and then I'm fine I know people are trying to be helpful but it it's not and it's actually unhelpful because it's extra that my brain has to process um so yeah there are some very positives from my day using the long cane yesterday and some negatives that maybe I need to figure out how to manage um, but today today is primarily going to be photos for Lissy and me to be taking I need to do my new profile photo and for my business cards i might have said this already i was going to do it on monday monday did not go very well at all and um, so we're going to try and do that today and then we are going out for dinner with some friends
this is going to have run around in the garden while I get everything set up and then hopefully she'll let me wrap her. We'll see. You having a nice time? Good girl. Lucy, what are you doing? That's not your car, sweetheart. That's your potty. They're nice. Coffee with my friend was not quite as relaxing as I'd hoped. Um, she had difficulty getting out because her little one wanted to walk but walk without shoes on outside um, and by the time they got here Lissy had kind of reached her tolerance for sitting and playing so she just wanted to wander around um, but we made it work and it's amazing how a simple conversation can change your ideas and your outlook on things and um, so my friend mentioned a couple of things that I hadn't even considered in terms of the sling library um, and can now go away and put in place but I need to or try and make work um, make contact with people things like that things that I didn't even know existed or hadn't considered like not focusing my in-print marketing just on the town centre um, but being a bit more specific and looking at the greater borough rather than just the town centre and it's really nice to kind of bounce ideas off someone who knows what you're doing and is enthusiastic about it and kind of understands some of the nuances so we're back home now we're going to have a quick lunch and then we're off to toddler group um, and I'm going to use one of our library buckle carriers to test it out see how how we get on with it what we think of it what works for us what maybe doesn't work for us so that I can then help people use it and recommend it to the right people because the more I know about a carrier um, the better I can support people with it and I knew there was something else I was going to tell you I just wandered off and come back again um, update on the smart drive so it turns out that the Kushal K4 um, has a slightly smaller in diameter um, I can't think what it's called now the bar at the in the middle of the chair that the smart drive clamp goes on so yesterday the rep made some adjustments to um, the grip that the bracket goes on. I was really hopeful that the modifications the rep put in place were going to work and I'm not convinced they have. I need to check that now but I think maybe we're on the right lines in terms of figuring out why the bracket keeps moving. Now we've just got to figure out what we can do about it so that the bracket fits properly and stops rotating. We've had a lovely time at Toddler Group, um, really nice mix of people and some really nice friendly conversations sometimes I can feel a bit awkward if I don't know people but it was people most I'd seen before, um, yeah so it was really nice. We got talking to one of the parents about the Ergo 360 and wearing a slightly older child um, and the library which is exciting. So now we're just going to head home and I'm hoping this little munchkin is asleep by the time we get back so that I can get one or two jobs done.